Well, I thought maybe you know you might want my views on ultimate truth or something. Yes, yeah, that sort, you yeah. too. <laughs> yes, that would be enlightening. Yes, oh yeah. The dog that barks the loudest will not accept the ripened fruit. That's the one you got to remember. What is it? The dog who? The dog that barks the loudest will not accept the ripened fruit. Which is another way of saying that reality is only what it was. Well, the bird in the bush is not a fool. And we also have a role reversal in my house. In that, uh, a role reversal? Yes, well, all the traditional male jobs like fixing the electricity and painting the walls and um, repairing the plumbing and all that stuff that men are supposed to do. She does all of it. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't have it. I don't have anything to do with it at all. I'm completely hopeless when it comes to any of this stuff in my hands. The most significant art pieces I've got in my house, absolutely nobody sees when they come in. They're um, some samples of Gandhara sculpture that I brought back from Pakistan. Gandhara sculpture was northwest Pakistan and Afghanistan were a Buddhist kingdom in about second century AD. Our Buddhist art and carving from that period in Pakistan is Greek looking as opposed to most of the Buddhist culture you look at is Oriental. So I have, um, well, when I was in Pakistan, I was sitting in my room one day and a local tribesman came in with a sack carrying a, I guess it's about 18 inches high, uh, um, carving of a ascetic Buddha. Ascetic Buddhas are very rare. And when I was a graduate, first came as a graduate student, um, railway tracks used to still go along beside the canal into what the old railway station opposite Chateau Laurier. Um, there was an old street person we used to hang out under the Laurier Street Bridge next to the railway tracks. The students used to go down there and they would have two students. One would be with the old man and they'd put him beside the tracks and the train would go by, freight train would go by and it they would ask him to look at the numbers, serial numbers on the railway cars. Each car had a five of them. And there was another student who would sit there writing them down as the train went by. And then they would get him to repeat. And he could, he could watch a train go by and he could repeat all the serial numbers on the cars exactly. I'm just wondering what would have happened to this portrait if I chattered all the time and smiled constantly and made jokes and laughed. Would this have produced a different portrait? I have no idea. I have no idea. 